Hello everyone, Mittens back here again today. So, I started building my Necrons. Uh, this is uh, the first out of uh, a lot to do. Anyways, um, like I said, I think I mentioned it in a previous video, but uh, I can't remember. Uh, like say, your everyday life and then uh, thinking about uh, certain things that you might have said on a video can kind of get a little little cloudy, so I'll say it again. Uh, um, Necrons was the very first model or army that I ever saw from Games Workshop. And I think it was just during the release, um, and I was in Coal Lake, Alberta, and we all went to West Edmonton Mall as a little family get together or not family get a little family trip um and anyways we're exploring west edmonton mall and i stumbled upon this store and i went in with my dad because i wanted to see it it looks so cool anyways um in doing so i saw the necrons and i was it, it i was ecstatic like Oh my god, they're like little robots and you can paint them and everything. And I was so pumped. And um, God came over and asked us if we needed anything. And my dad said, no, we're just looking. And I said, dad, these are so cool. Can I get them? They're like mini Terminators. And I was in a big Terminator kick. Um, and uh, sure enough, my dad asked the guy, like, how much are those? And the guy said, well... They come in this box. I don't, and I, I couldn't tell you how many it came into because I was still looking at the army on the display. And uh, sure enough, told my dad the price. My dad said, kind of chuckled to himself and said, "Nope." All right, Cody, on to the next one. And then that was the last I seen of Warhammer until about grade eight, where I uh, saw um, the orcs from. Uh, um fantasy and sure enough um my buddy uh at the time uh sam slaughter was his name anyways he uh he had the orcs and uh, i thought it was so cool i stumbled across this again i was like well i need to get me some and uh, we lived in on board in Ontario at the time. My dad was going into something else for the military. He was taking a course for a completely different trade. So we were there, and uh, that's the last I've seen it. So I always wanted to go over to his place uh, because he had a uh, Warhammer. In the meantime, he always wanted to come to my house because I had the video games. So we kind of had to alternate. Uh, he had three brothers, so playing uh, uh, younger. He had two younger brothers. Sorry, he's the third. He's the oldest, and he had two younger, so a total of three. And anyways, he uh, he just liked coming over to my place because it was a lot less quiet. Sure enough, he came to my place. We played video games, and then like when. He's, uh, his parents weren't, uh, or, like, his parents were gone for the weekend, or his mom, this kid, his brothers had, like, I don't know, um, I think sometimes they had, um, uh, some, like, sporting events, or, uh, scouts, or eagles, um, or gone to a friend's house, birthday parties, whatever the case may be. Uh, I'd go over to his place and we play. We didn't play Warhammer because we didn't know how to play it. But uh, we used his models in conjunction with like Lego and stuff like that. And we just built like epic bases and just kind of went from there. So that was me in grade eight and then when my dad was done his course he got posted to nova scotia and um i didn't know anybody 
who uh, had Warhammer. I went to high school, and it's the biggest school I've went to uh, so far. And uh, I was a very shy kid. Didn't really talk to a whole lot of people. And uh, I just kind of let my sports kind of do the talking for me. And I let, like, people come to, to me to, like, kind of like, hey, how's it going? So that's what uh, I used to do. And uh, so I just kind of kept to myself a lot. Um, so in doing so, uh, I made some friends and whatnot, but uh, didn't know anybody who who liked Warhammer, and I was like obsessed with it at this point. So, anyways, uh, one weekend, uh, like nothing going on, I went uh, to the mall, which was like two minute walk from my house. And uh, go into the bookstore and looking around, saw White Dwarf magazine. No way. I sat there and I just started going through this magazine, reading and looking at all the everything Warhammer I could. Started looking for books, but anyways, most of the thing I saw was magazines back then. Magazines like, like you're talking like. Phew. You're talking like uh, 20 years ago. And I'm like looking at them and I'm like loving every second of it. And seeing Crom the Conqueror from uh, the Chaos uh, uh, Fantasy range in there. And talking about how he is and um, who he is and how he became known as Crom the Conqueror. And then there's um, the defiler just came out and i was like oh man that's so cool like look at this and uh yeah i was like i was just captivated by it i was always kind of an artsy kid like i like drawing and doodling probably did that more so in school than i did paying in uh paying attention so anyways uh yeah so that's Warhammer and that's how I really kind of or my journey into Warhammer uh, or history um, didn't have officially any own any models until I was in college and uh, and I like say I asked uh, for some for Christmas and my mom and my stepfather gave me some uh, and like say uh, kind of collection kind of grew so like say right now I'm painting up orcs in a, in a cell shade or a comic book style I'm doing a lot of heavy uh, lining like edge highlight um, with a black ink um, Epic Duck Studios I think it is on YouTube I swears by this uh, Higgins Black Magic it's waterproof ink and anyways it uh, it's a, a great product that um, he went by. Now, he also said there's a couple other inks to use, but I've been using that, and it's been doing very, very well uh, serving me. I just got to get better at uh, controlling um, how much paint is on my brush or how much ink is on my brush before I actually go into the model because once you do, um, like say, you'll make a, a an, an ink flows so nice that, like, you'll end up making a, a bigger um, black line than you intended. And I've done that a few times. And luckily, you can um, make it work in your own way. So it wasn't too bad. But like, uh, like say, so, and then I also have this marker that I bought from uh, a craft store, Michael's. And it has this nice fine point tip onto it, and it's great for uh, edge highlighting. Um, and like I say, it's, it's overall it's just a really great tool. Now this is the guy I've been working on. He's all done, ready ready to go to do some of that highlighting or uh, black lining. And like you can see um, with the marker, like you can get in to these spaces now with the marker you're not going to get a solid black line like you would with uh the ink or not like it or um it's not as uh dark as a black 
So like it, it's convenient to use, but like the tip is good. Like I find it really good for edge highlighting and but in the same sense, like it's kind of hard to uh, get into all the small spaces because of how it tapers back so thick. It's not like a paintbrush where it stays thin. So trying to get into some of these, uh, some of the spaces is hard, but I mean, doing edge highlights um, is pretty easy. So uh, that's what I've been using sometimes. So I'm trying to, f I'm, I'm just trying to find out what works best. And it's kind of hard to do um, when this in in watch videos when this uh on this style when it's uh is so uh niche in a way like I love Borderlands I, I'm sure there's a lot of people that love Borderlands but in the same sense it's hard so r right now I'm just kind of going in to the shadows or the darkest spots and making those black lines to give it to the shadow so that's why I didn't shade it with any anything I just kind of because I knew I was going to be doing this and um, the best part about it is like I like holding my model a lot and so some of the edges rub off but yet I'm coming back in and highlighting or not highlighting, black lining the edges anyway so um, having it run off is not like the end of the world for me or, or rub, yeah, sorry, rub off because I'm coming back in like see this like little part of the uh, which I forgot to paint but part of it is already rubbed off. But I can make it black. It's, it's, it's no biggie. Like I say, quick, easy fix. But see, again, this is this is what I'm talking about. Like I'm, I could have made that one a little thinner, and not having as much control with the marker as I would with a, a, a brush in certain instances. Um, you can kind of you can kind of see that. So. But like if you go at it almost like uh, a paintbrush, that might be good too, but and you'll hear rain in the background. I love the sound of rain. I, I find it very relaxing, very soothing. So you'll probably hear that a lot on the channel. Um, just just as some background noises. Um, So you, like say in this in this case just like just take your time as best you can um, like I'm normally a really shaky person well, it's because I got high blood pressure uh, I'm getting old I'm getting up there but uh, making things straight for me it's just hard that's why I thought maybe using the marker would have been better than the paintbrush because um, it might be easier for me to control because of my shakiness, but see like right there I came back in and like and now with the marker uh, I haven't tried removing anything but with with the paint uh, with the ink you, you you could have a, a quick second to uh, potentially take any of that away. So it doesn't look the greatest here, but like then, like you say, you can kind of make make it so like shade it in a little bit and do something like that. Um, same thing for here, kind of like shade it in a little bit or build it out a little bit to make it look like something. I don't know, like see, I don't know the terminology drawing in uh in, in the comic book style so like i could there could be um there could actually be names for certain things that you're doing here 
in this paint style and I could be butchering butchering it up completely. Hopefully if anybody knows the 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 name of these certain methods, let me know and I'll uh I'll correct myself. But anyways, that's just a uh, so like I say using a marker, but I've been finding uh the Higgins Black Magic ink is uh definitely the better spot to go um so anyways uh my orcs are uh still getting the love that i need to complete them i just kind of want to wanted to start my necron army because uh all the hype and stuff and it's just something else to play like i have leagues of voton they're they're a nice army um and the lore is great it's just like I said, I like the I like the Necrons and the Orcs better. And Space Marines, I like say I love my Iron Hands. I'll always be a Space Marine fanboy. Um, just because, like say, growing up and you know, watching Universal Soldier and you've been watching like Rambo and um, Terminator. Uh, what other good ones are Commando and just all like you know, like you have these action heroes that are doing all these stuff and it feels like a Space Marine. Um, can achieve all that as well so like say uh, I used to watch all those kind of movies um, my dad loved action movies and kung fu movies so I, I just like picture um, 40k like 40k you can really do your own thing or even in fantasy and other games like you can do your own kit bashes and stuff like you see samurai Tao, which looks so good and then you have like puppets of war making like um, uh, making like parts and models that uh, can easily be um, customizable, but like uh, orcs with uh, samurai um, outfits on, or uh, like there's so many talented companies out there that can produce models, and it it's it's just it's amazing now like. Like you say, some, some tournaments and official GW stuff won't allow um, proxies in. So, like, if you do decide to go and get some of this um, alternate uh, miniatures that you want to use in 40k, make sure you okay it with um, your tournament organizer first. Don't sign up and show up and then feel like you uh, feel and get pissed off because you can't uh, play with. Uh, you can't play with your army or, or that particular unit so like so you might be at a disadvantage because it could be the cornerstone of your offensive or defense uh, in in the game and uh, simply can't use it because it's a it's a proxy and but if you're allowed to uh, that's awesome and just make sure your opponent realizes what you're proxying it as like don't have uh, oh here's my h2o bottle I'm going to use this as a ghost arc. Don't show up with like that. Like show up with some type of model. I mean if you're having a friendly game at home. Sure. If you want to try something out. Just take one of your other models. That says oh, hey this is a tank. But I'm going to uh, proxy it. As um, a ghost arc. Or a doomsday arc. Uh, for my Necron list. Are you okay with that? And 9 out of 10 chances are. Uh your opponent will be yeah yeah go ahead dude because i mean like this hobby is expensive and getting into it you want to try new stuff but like do i really want to spend that much money on one model or i wish that it was like a way i could try it first um they used to have like tabletop simulator and uh and they used to you could usually use a 40k uh, in that particular game um, and go from there but uh, as far as I know that's kind of been put on the back burner uh, since COVID has uh, dwindled down significantly so well next is kind of gluing Figuring out these poses for these bad boys. Put their heads on, arms, and weapons. Uh, yeah, it'd be 
sweet i'm getting really excited i can't wait to do this but anyways it's just a short 20 minute video um i don't want like say uh to try to produce hour-long videos unless it's like something important i just lose track of time but like say 20 minutes is is long enough uh 20 to 30 i think um because everybody else has things to do today and uh hopefully um I can do more videos like this in the pet in the next time. Like I say, I ha I have a little bit of an unboxing video to do soon, so you can see all the goodies in there. But anyways, um, for right now, I'm gonna sign off. And thanks anybody everybody for watching. Uh, have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye.